Hello everyone, in this part we're gonna talk about the correlation. So this topic is really important when you are understanding any graph based on x and y variables and it can be any variables x, y, z and so on. So it actually tells the relation between the two quantity variable which is x and y. As you can see in the graph, we have three kinds of graph and it is actually a scatter diagram. It tells the relationship between the y and the x variable. So as you can see it is a positive correlation but why it is positive correlation because when the x is increasing y is also increasing see when x is at max y is also at max and there is another type of relation which is negative correlation when the x is 0 y is max when the x is max y is 0 and another type which is no relation there is no relation between these two variables so in correlation we actually find the relationship between the two quantitative variable when the x increases y also increases it means that it is positive correlation when the x decreases and y also decreases it is also in the sense that it is decreasing so it would be minus correlation but when they are increasing both of them it would be plus correlation and when x is increasing but y is decreasing it means that one of them is increasing but one of them is decreasing here in that case it is actually an inverse correlation between them so let's see an example to understand it better and you would be given a set of x variables and y sets and x sets as you can see i can easily understand by seeing the graph that there is a positive correlation between those two variables x and y but why that's so because when x is 2 y is 4 when x is 3 y is 6 and when x is 4 y is 8 so when the x is increasing y is also increasing so if you plot that uh, x to this position 2 3 4 5 in the x coordinate and y to the this one 2 4 6 8 10 12 and when you plot this 2 4 3 6 4 8 this is 2 4 this is 3 6 this is 4 8 this is 5 10 when you plot this all those point and you see there is a uh, increasing curve when the x is increasing y is also increasing so this is an increasing graph we can see this by this graph and also with these data points so correlation is actually very important when you are understanding any importance of data and when you would be given a huge amount of data how we can analyze this using this kind of data sets with this kind of graph or with a scatter plot that how the data is increasing based on another variable or that how the data is behaving based on other variables now correlation coefficient r this is also very important correlation coefficient it means that how is strong their correlation uh, or their relationship is actually and there is two types of it one is the nature and one is the strength nature is actually is it both is it increasing it have to be x and y both would be increasing and if they are decreasing x and y both are decreasing it would be a negative signature and there is another part which is strength strength can be strong strength intermediate and weak the value of r is between minus one to plus one so minus one is the lowest relation between them and plus one is the highest relation between those two variables so the range would be always be minus one to plus one if the r is zero it means that there is no correlation or relation between those two variables x and y now how can we measure the strength so if the value of r is greater than 0 and 0 and smaller than 0 0.25 it means that there is a weak relation between those two variables 0 0.25 up to 0 0.75 range is called the intermediate uh, correlation but when the uh, value of r is greater than or equal to 0 0.75 or less than 1 it means that it is a strong correlation when the r is equals to 1 it means that it is perfect correlation and when is r is equals to 0 there is no correlation between those two variables now how can you find the value of r the relations correlation coefficient between these two variables there is a formula summation of x i individual value of the data sets minus their um, x bar is actually their average or mean and this is the value of the y data sets y i minus y bar and you just multiplicate all of those values and sum them up and divided by n minus 1 is the n is the number of items in your data sets minus 1 and sigma x is actually the standard deviation of x and sigma y is the standard deviation of y 
so you need to find those two uh, this upper two term and multiply them and sum them and also divide by n minus 1 times eastern deviation of x and eastern deviation of y because they would be given x set and y set as well let's see an example that the, as you can see there is an x data sets given and also the data sets for the y is also given now you need to find x minus y x i minus x bar and y i minus y bar based on that and x bar is actually the summation of all those items uh, divided by number of items and same for y and you just uh, divide uh, you just subtract each x value with their average value and you get the minus 215 with that and same for the y i minus y but you just subtract 30 from the average value of these data sets and you get those values and now you just to have to multiplicate all of those to x i minus x bar and y i minus y bar so that you can get this term which is in the uh, in our previous formula of r and you also need to find the standard deviation of x so you need to know the difference x i minus x bar whole square and also for the y y i minus y bar whole square you just find all of those and just this one is actually the summation of x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar you find 820 and for if you want to find standard deviation of x you just need to sum them up which is 760 same for standard deviation of y which is 2090 so this is your x bar and y bar so standard deviation f, uh, of x is uh, equal to root over summation of x i minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1 this is the formula for standard deviation of uh, x variable so what you find standard deviation of x is actually 760 divided by 9 because there are total 10 items so 10 minus 1 which is 9 same for y you find y for this one 700 uh, for why you need to find this one to uh, 2090 so 2020 uh, divided by 9 which is 15.25 which is 15.24 so the correlation are you just uh, need to remember the formula and just put all those values in the previous page that I have given 820 is the total value of this and n minus 1 is the number of items 10 minus 1 times eastern division of x times eastern division of y you get 0 0.65 which is range of 0 0.25 uh, to 0 0.75 it means that it is uh, intermediate relationship okay so there have an intermediate positive correlation you have to remember also that it is positive correlated when x is increasing y is also increasing it means both of them are positive and also the value is also important so we need to find the strength and the strength is intermediate correlation so these two things are important suppose x is actually the sale and y is the number of copies when your sale increased the number of copies also increased so this is the main thing that you need to know in correlation so next we talk about the regression so let's see on that video